He hit 9 of 27 from three-point range. Gordon with 14 off the bench. After two made, Jonas Valanciunas free throws. Kind of a weird possession here, guys. Yeah, Trent's got to get on the ball right there. I, th I think the idea was the ball was supposed to wind up in Harden's hand. But whatever <laughs> was going up just didn't quite work that way. Well, I would assume so, yeah. It was going to wind up in his hands. But, but Ariza came over to get it, and then there was a, an awkward couple of seconds before well, he finally got it to Harden. to the middle, and I don't know if he was waiting for the defender to bite or whatever. Then all of a sudden he established a pivot foot. He pivoted one time, came around, and then decides to flip it over to Harden, who basically had very little chance. Trevor, Trevor's been playing great all year, but you don't want to make the mistake that ends the game or right. ruins it, and there's quite possibly an overplay situation coming up. So a little weird, just getting the timing down. Had to end sooner or later, and the 17-game win streak comes to an end in Toronto, their first loss since January 26th. Raptors sweep the season series. They've won seven in a row and 14 of 15. Here's Kyle Lowry after a 30-point night. Yeah, we tried to ride. I, I tried to foul Joe, but uh, I didn't get. I didn't foul him hard enough. But uh, Demar did a good job of switching out. Pascal did a good job of forcing James into a really, really long three. I mean, we shouldn't even have given him an opportunity to get the shot off, but uh, you know, it worked out. How big was that early lead that you guys were able to build up, holding Houston to a season-low 16 points in the first quarter and able to maybe ride that for the rest of the game? I think that first quarter helped us win the game tonight. You know, we kind of maintained the rest of the game, but we got to continue to get better. Uh, we can't be satisfied with big leads in the first quarter and, and let them go in the, in the second and third and fourth quarter. we got to find ways to be continue to be strong and, and great. You guys have now won 14 out of 15. You end Houston's 17-game winning streak. How gratifying, satisfying is that? So another win for us. You know, at the end of the day, that's a great team down there. Um, they'll be they'll be playing for some, some some something serious later on. But for us, it's just another one in our books and uh, continue on our journey. Right, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, no, I, you know what? There were some great things that we did. Uh, I thought we fought hard. Uh, they they played extremely well. Uh, especially the first quarter and the whole game. I mean, they, they, they are who they are, and, they, you know, they, they play great, and they hit big shots, and, uh, and hats off to those guys. That, that's great. But at the same time, there were some things that we had to up our ante a little bit after the first quarter. It's just we didn't – we were maybe surprised by the intensity or whatever. We didn't quite come out with what we had to, but we had the last three quarters. So, so be it. Now we, you know, got to – Got to go back and get another streak. They already have two of the longest streaks in the league this season. So now Houston and Golden State are tied at 51 and 14. Warriors are in progress in Portland very early on there, where it's 18, 13 Blazers on top. And, of course, Golden State without Steph Curry. Um, also, Toronto now at 48-17 is just three games back of Houston for the best record league-wide right now. And, uh, Look, they, they swept the Rockets. Kyle Lowry, fantastic, especially early on in this game. Yeah, Kyle Lowry from the beginning of the game knew that he had a hot hand going, came out and got himself going. And sometimes it's a little bit easier to get yourself going when the guy that's defending you may not be the best defensive player in the NBA. Let me show who, you. Who are you speaking of? Well, you, you tell me. He has a beard here. And you'll see. <laughs> watch when Kyle catches it. He knows Harden's not really serious about Gardner. He just catches it and shoots the ball. Then he comes at Harden in transition. Watch his crossover. Watch Harden on defense. Ooh. Let me look. Where is, where is he? Oh, he's laying the ball up. <laughs> he tried to bump and it. In. Yeah. And, and, and then a little bit of ball movement and Lowry starts away and they start working around. And you want to go underneath the screen? Well, don't give up yet on Lowry because he's going to back off him once again, and Lowry's going to make him pay the price with another three. He was fantastic, and, and Harden may have been complicit in uh, some of that. On the other hand, though, he was a handful again with 40. Yes, he was. I, I mean, he went off tonight. And one thing he's changing is opportunistically scoring. Uh, he was distributing early, getting teammates involved, and later in the, in the game, he really took advantage of opportunities. Uh, if you see Harden here early on, he's taking advantage of patience. You see Clint Capella coming. He knows the lob that is there, getting with the, the soft tear drop in the lane. Then he's coming down. He takes advantage of the mistakes. Serge Ibaka too far bike off in the pick and roll, playing the angles, knows he's going to draw a foul or get a bucket. Nice little floater, tough to guard. James understands angles, 
He's an efficient scorer. He's not using a lot of effort, taking his time, okay, giving me the right hand, clear path, getting the dunk right there. So James Harden, you see why he's leading the league in scoring. Mm -hmm. One of the, I, in my mind, MVP of the league, he's a favorite hands down, uh, and he's showing it tonight. Obviously, they, they lost, but uh, what a fine match and, match and effort for them. And by the way, for the record, Coach, I did see him put an effort on defense late in the game against DeRozan. Now, DeRozan <laughs> scored on him, but he was – he was actually trying to guard it. Well, you know, some people are known as confidence builders, and he certainly builds your confidence if <laughs> he's guarding you. Put it that way. Uh, he's, he's built the confidence of a lot of teammates as yeah. well as some oh great playmaking. Yes, he has. But Toronto now, you know, we keep talking about this team and best home record, uh, deep team, different offensively than they've been in years past. I mean, what else can you say about them? And, and what do you expect? to change for them come playoffs uh, that they haven't been able to do in previous playoff seasons? I don't think uh, anything's going to change uh, because we have to go back to last summer when front office met with coaching staff. The front office said, we need to do some things differently because we're not catching up to the league right now, yes. the way the league is playing. Yes. So in sitting down and working together, they came up with a different style, a different way of playing, a different tempo, a different pace. And then DeMar DeRozan, their star, was told, look, we're going to play differently. And it may not be a set call every time down the floor for you in isolation. Right. We've got to move bodies more. We've got to move the ball more. You've got to work at your three-point job because we're going to shoot more threes. They brought in Miles, okay? Mm -hmm. Their Southport relief pitcher out of the bullpen came in, <laughs> brought him in for three-point shooting. And all of a sudden, you know, DeMar DeRozan comes back from work in the, in the offseason. And he makes threes on a regular basis. They added some youth with that second unit, some of the young guys mm -hmm. who have been very productive and tough. They've given them some more toughness. This is a really good team. And you got to think, if you're Coach Casey, you're preaching to your team right now, this is a must win. Statement game to the league. Hey, guys, let's get home court advantage. Nobody in the league can beat us in seven because we're going to take care of home. We beat the hottest team in the league right now. We're making a huge statement, and guys, let's see where it goes. Nobody's looking at us. Nobody's thinking about us. Let's get into these playoffs and make some noise. You know, it strikes me that Toronto has gone about this the right way. This has been a long build. They've established who their stars are, built around them, drafted well, but sometimes it's not good enough. And my question for you guys is, in any series against the elite teams of the league, they won't have the best player on the floor. Agreed? Agreed. Got really good players. Is it enough? In today's NBA, uh, I would like to say by history shown, it has not been. You see LeBron, you see Durant, you see Westbrook, you see Steph. Those guys are continuing to win in the finals. And really, that was the difference in the series last year. Toronto just didn't have LeBron James, uh, the best player in our league. There's a difference going on. There's a, quite a, a, a tide of the turn. Toronto, excuse me, Cleveland and LeBron, they don't look like the same well-oiled machine. Can LeBron do it again? Can Cleveland do it again? It's not as clear-cut as it's always been. I know the turmoil is there. I know he's been through this dance before, but mm -hmm. Toronto has to see hope, Coach. I, I think Toronto would go into it. If they have the number one seed, I think they go into this thing with a lot of confidence. Um, Cleveland still has to show us mm. – they've got LeBron James, and there's a lot to be said about having LeBron James on your side. Of course. Like seven straight NBA. Yeah, yeah. Finals, okay? <laughs> But other than that small accomplishment that he's been a part of, there's a bunch of new guys that are playing a lot of minutes. And you, now you got two big men out. Love's going to mm. be coming back from the broken hand. No continuity at all. After missing season. two months, and now Thompson's out again. He missed a month earlier in the year. Now this injury again. Well, I don't know. I don't know.